let us begin by quickly discussing machine learning theory okay so what is machine learning uh, I'm sure you can probably find hundreds of definitions on that on the internet but uh, at the crux of it uh, it's, it's, it's basically a set of algorithms uh, that perform a variety of, of tasks on, on, on data and there are two major flavors of machine learning these are uh, supervised and unsupervised learning algorithms so supervised algorithms make uh, predictions based on a, on a set of existing examples uh, for instance uh, historical temperature readings can be used to to guess future readings right uh, and in unsupervised learning algorithms uh, the, the algorithms they try to find different ways of, of looking at complex data so that it uh, it appears more organized or simple with Azure most of the modules are supervised and there are three specific types uh, namely classification regression and anomaly detection so the machine learning tools can be found on the Azure portal for Microsoft's cloud ecosystem uh, and if you don't have an Azure account you can sign up for a free trial on their website once you are logged in go ahead and click on the plus sign to create a new item and then select Internet of Things so we're going to begin by creating a machine learning workspace so click on machine learning workspace so go ahead and fill in the details enter your workspace name select your subscription and then you select your resource group so a resource group basically is a uh, it's a grouping of, of related resources and I already have one so if you don't you can go ahead and create it and then select a location closest to you seeing that we don't have Africa here I'll just select Western Europe storage account leave it as default this one is default and then this one is default and then you go on to select your pricing tier Okay, select this one. Alright, then pin to dashboard and then you click create. Okay, so if your workspace deployed successfully, you will be taken to a screen like this one. Uh, and if not, you can always go back to your dashboard and uh, launch it from there and then here you can go ahead and launch machine learning studio and then you can sign in now Machine Learning Studio is uh, is the tool that you can use to build, uh, test, and uh, deploy some uh, analytic solutions. Uh, the solutions are published as web services, so you can easily consume them uh, using custom apps or tools such as Microsoft Excel and stuff. We must start by creating a new experiment. Right. So as you can see, we've got some. Uh, pre-made experiments are available for us to use but I'll just pick the blank experiment and then as you can see we've got a uh, sample data sets for us to use so I'll just pick this first one which is a binary classification data set right and then if you right click here click visualize Right, you can actually see the contents of our data set. Right, we've got the age, uh, weight class, education, occupation, and then we've got the income here. Now, what we want to do here is to split this data set into 80 20. Right, we will we'll use one part of the data to train uh, our model and the other data to test it right and the end result will be an algorithm that can uh, actually train itself to predict a person's income so we want to select specific columns to 
to use in this experiment so we're going to use a data manipulation function to do that Okay. Now we can select a machine learning algorithm. Uh, we'll choose a two-class boosted decision tree for reasons beyond the scope of uh, this video. And then we need to train this model. Here's our trainer. Uh, and of course it needs uh, data to train the model okay and then now we need to split our data using the split data function right and then we set it at 80 percent right and we feed that 80 percent to our trainer Right, and then we tell this trainer that the field, the income field, needs to be trained. Okay, uh, so now to see how uh, the model has performed, uh, we need to use the score. Right, and then we evaluate it. Okay, and then now uh, we've got the 20% that the trained model doesn't know about, so we need to feed that to the score model for it to, to determine how the algorithm is performing as, uh, as far as guessing the, a person's income, right? We connect that 20% there, and then we connect our data set there. Okay, now we can save, right, and run. So it's going to take a while. And then once it's finished running, we can then click here and visualize our results okay so this is our our graph right so now if it's if it's actually going uh, on along this diagonal line so which means it's actually guessing 50 percent it's good at guessing 50 percent of the time and if it's actually sloping to the left it means that it's uh, good at predicting the income and then if it's uh, sloping to the right here it means that it's uh, it's good at not predicting the income, right? Which can be useful in uh, under some circumstances. That completes our video. So in order to use this model, we have to publish it as a as a web service, and we shall be looking at that in future videos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.